Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and I've got a particularly intriguing question for today's video. The question comes from um, Phil. Uh, he's an ARRL life member, KE3FL. Okay, and uh, Philip Carras. He says uh, he enjoys the videos and so on. He read that um, he knows that various components in a transmission line create loss, sometimes not very much. And we try to get, uh, you know, very nice cable that doesn't have a lot of loss, especially if we're looking for weak signal work or something like that. But he brings up the question of the noise figure. Now, in order for me to deal with his question about the noise figure, we need to talk about what the noise figure is. The noise figure is a number in dB, in dB, of the amount of noise, white noise, additive Gaussian white noise, that is actually created by the device. Now that may sound absolutely crazy, but remember the concept behind black body radiation is that an object will create noise on a frequency band that peaks around a certain temperature Kelvin. Now the sun surface is, that's the part that glows, is at about 5,500 degrees Kelvin. I guess that's not, that's a double <laughs> thing there. 5,000 Kelvin. We don't say degrees Kelvin because Kelvin means degrees above absolute zero. Okay? Absolute zero is pretty doggone cold. It's so cold, it's an unachievable state where, um, all movement ceases, okay? All movement ceases. But anything that is above that, the electrons are starting to move around. And what does a moving electric charge do? It creates a magnetic field. And now you have an electromagnetic field. You have electromagnetic radiation coming out of every atom in every object in the universe and that motion the amount of noise created is directly referenced to the temperature in kelvin okay zero degrees kelvin means no noise anything other than zero degrees kelvin means noise is created like for example in your radio in your antenna in your transmission line, and so on. So the question is, why is noise figure important? The answer is that at HF it's not. Because in HF there's so much other noise out there, like far away electric storms with lightning crashes and everything, they're static created. And the sun itself radiates at 5,000 Kelvin, and a lot of that radiation hits the earth. And you've probably noticed if you step outside on a hot day, you can feel the ground radiating energy to you. Okay, now we wouldn't normally call a sidewalk an emitter of electromagnetic radiation, but it is. It does radiate the heat uh, back up to us. Now, I don't want to confuse heat with electromagnetic radiation. They are somewhat different things. Okay, now, if you are trying to get a very weak signal in the microwave range, noise figure becomes extremely important because the noise floor of the band at microwave is very, very low. Okay, that means that the noise introduced by components tends to mask signals that are present. This is why for microwave, we put the receiver right at the dish, right at the feed point of the dish. 
okay, because that first amplifier is going to not only amplify the signal, but it's going to add in dB terms, it's actually a multiplication, in dB terms it will add noise. So we talk about low noise amplifiers uh, for like television signals and so on. When you're trying to receive a signal, the idea is to get that signal amplified well above the noise so that you can process it normally after that. It's the first amplifier that adds noise from this black body radiation kind of thing. And then that passes a greatly amplified signal to the next amplifier, which also adds noise, but the noise it adds is extremely low compared to the signal it gets from the first amplifier. Now, this noise that's added in at microwave, this is why you put the receiver with its first amplifier right in the feed horn, so there are no components like coax or um, microwave um, waveguide or anything like that that can introduce additional noise before it hits that first amplification stage. Now, the noise figure of the receiver is expressed in dB, and it's the amount of noise that you hear out of the receiver compared to the original noise coming in. My Tentec up there, which is the one in the middle with the green screen, has a noise figure of approximately 11 dB. Now, is that important? Not at HF. No, it's not. Because the noise floor on the band is well above 11 dB. So even though you have this little additional noise in the first amplifier, it's totally swamped by the atmospheric noise that you get, the static and so on. Now when you get up into microwave, sometimes even at two meters, if you're going to do moon bounce work, for example, you'll put an amplifier out at the antenna. That amplifier is usually made of a special kind of amplifier, often called a parametric amplifier, that has very, very low noise figure. It'll still add three or four dB of noise to the signal. If you want to go below that, remember the noise is a function of the temperature, you have to cool the LNA. And so you get into the big scientific uh, radio astronomy. That LNA sitting right up there is bathed in like liquid nitrogen or liquid helium or something like that. They can get it down to about three degrees, three Kelvin, about three Kelvin, okay? And then after that, it doesn't matter so much because the additional stages don't really contribute to the noise figure. So, what about a coax connector? Can a coax connector add noise? Absolutely. It's a piece of matter, and depending on the temperature, it can add a tiny titch of noise. The same with your coax. The same with the antenna itself. It's all above zero Kelvin, so there is tiny, tiny amounts of noise created by these devices. So, now, at HF is that important? No, because the band noise, the static, the lightning crashes, uh, ionospheric noise, sun noise, and so on, is so high that it just swamps out the noise figure. Like the fact that uh, that was 11 dB, that's what the manual says. I figured it one time, I did some experiments and came up with 13 dB. But, and that's in an old, old video uh, that talks about that radio. Uh, but the point is here is this. Yes, coax connectors add noise. Is a quarter dB the right amount? I don't know. It depends on the temperature of the device, the quality of the device, the resistance of the device. For example, if it's silver plated, it's going to be a very nice connector and have a fairly low noise figure. Now, if you go cool that, like put it in a block of ice or put it in liquid 
helium or nitrogen, uh, you'll probably make the metal so brittle it'll crack, but uh, it's not going to matter at HF. Now, when you're working at microwave, you're dealing in entirely different things. You're dealing in different types of antennas. You're dealing in horns and parabolas and that sort of thing, okay, which all have their noise figure. And you probably put your first amplifier, which will be a parametric amp, right, there are other kinds too that are low noise, uh, right at the feed horn, okay, and then bring a uh, do a down conversion and then bring that uh, back to where you are uh, receiving it. On transmit it doesn't matter because even if you're just putting out one watt that is so far above the noise figure which could be you know the the total noise added by the receiver which is in a very very good microwave system can be as low as 2 or 3 dB. Okay so the colder the better the very high-end receivers, like on radio astronomy and so on, are cooled to near absolute zero to avoid noise. Noise kills communication. When we're talking to the Voyager satellites that are out by Pluto and beyond, the signal is so faint that you need a huge dish, plus you need an extremely cold front-end amplifier for that to even work because the signals are that weak. So I hope that answers your question about noise figure. Um, I would not say that there are um, you know, a 1 dB insertion loss for a connector sounds high um, and a quarter dB noise floor increase we don't know. I mean what matters is from the antenna to that first amplifier. I realize that's a very advanced topic. It's kind of fun to consider the idea that everything on Earth, including you, emit electromagnetic radiation because of the so-called black body radiation. None of us are as hot as the sun. No matter how hot we may think we are, we're not as hot as the sun, okay? Which is 5,000 Kelvin, and it glows white light, the kind of light that we use to see every day. So there you have it, a little bit of a dissertation on noise figure. I hope you find it fun. You can go back and look at the radio or thing. It's in the extra class licenses, I think, where we calculate noise figure. Noise figure is an extra class level uh, subject, and so you'll find it in the book there. But there you have it. If you followed this far, please subscribe. Please click like, please share. Also, uh, consider putting a little in the tip jar or in uh, to Patreon by going to decastlercom slash support and finding a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.